Hi guys, welcome to my exam with Sam. I'm Sam and this video can really help you if you're checking your IELTS writing task two. So if you've written an essay and you want to know how to check it at home, then this video can really help you. This video is an extract from a conversation I had with Amit, who's one of my students. Amit wrote a part two essay and in our call together, we were checking his essay. Amit learnt all about the different marking criteria that the examiner will use when they check your part two essay task. So in this extract, you can find out what the examiner will be checking your essay for. If you're a serious student and you want to watch all of the call, then you can find it with Amit's essay on the My Exam with Sam free course. The link is in the description. Let's have a look at the lesson. We came to an understanding that a seven band essay need a perfection. Uh, and I am I'm, I'm aware that uh, I, my essays are not grammatically correct, correct okay. uh, entirely. I need, right. <laughs> I need to stop you there. You don't need to have perfect grammar for a band seven. That's not true. Um, okay. So the IELTS mark scheme says for a band seven in grammar, has good control of grammar and punctuation, but may make a few errors. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do you want to know what it is for band nine? Yes, I have not. I never read those. For band I, nine, I always knew. <laughs> yeah. For band nine, it says rare minor errors occur only as slips, which basically means you can have one or two small mistakes that aren't related so if you make two mistakes with articles then that's not a slip that's a system that's wrong but if you make a slip with an article and then you have an s where you don't need an s that's two different things and that slips and that's fine even at band nine okay so you oh my god okay you need perfect perfect grammar for a band seven that's just not true oh i really i really uh, didn't knew that uh, it, it's completely <laughs> new for me. I, I have been uh, see I have watched many videos uh, yeah uh, for, on YouTube uh, and um, uh, uh, even my teacher the second one uh, I have been uh, with, going to uh, he also mentioned that your uh, your sentences should be all sentences should be correct there should not be any mistakes uh, uh, you can have a uh, uh, not huge uh, but a good vocabulary uh, but your sentences should be correct should be correct so that that must be correct so that so, was a point where i yeah so it's a it's admirable to want to have perfect grammar but i feel like for you you are very 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 focused on your grammar and there are actually three other things that the examiner will be looking at when they check your essay. So yes, they Probably. look at your grammar, which doesn't need to be perfect. They'll also look at your vocabulary. They also want to know about coherence and cohesion. Do you know what I mean by coherence and cohesion? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? Uh, what do I, what yes. do you understand? Okay, uh, cohesion and coherence, I, uh, uh, in this particular area, uh, uh, examiner looks for the uh, 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 connections between ideas uh, or the paragraphs, whatever I'm writing, uh, uh, do I have the interlink between all, uh, like my uh, introduction and uh, uh, conclusion are interlinked or not, uh, whether whatever I'm mentioning in introduction are being carried forward in my body paragraphs and in conclusion or not, uh, okay. they are looking for that. That's one part of it, yes, is the connection between your paragraphs and the connection right. between your ideas. The other part of it is the connection between your sentences. So does one sentence logically connect to the next sentence? Right, right. Okay, so that's coherence and cohesion. And also mm -hmm. there is task achievement. Do you understand what I mean by task achievement? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, with, whether I... Uh, completely um, uh, completely uh, my, whether my essay completely answers to the uh, question or not uh, whether I uh, uh, 
answer all the parts of the questions like uh, if uh, uh, if i have been asked for the uh, uh, essay where uh, you know, i need to uh, i need to discuss two points and uh, addition to that i need to give my my opinion and if i forget my opinion giving opinion in at least in a one sentence uh, it would not be a complete essay okay good so you it seems like you understand the different parts of the marking criteria so you understand task achievement coherence and cohesion vocabulary and grammar but right i get the impression that when you check your own essay you focus a lot on the grammatical accuracy do you probably it must be the it might be a overconfidence uh, since i think that in other uh, criteria i have been uh, i am uh, good at and that, yeah that that can be certainly can be a uh, issue i oh. just the big coming to realization to that realization that it might be a problem here so that was one part of the call with amit if you would like to see the rest of the call including the part where we check amit's essay then you can go to the my exam with sam website and sign up for the free course it's completely free and you can find the complete call with amit as well as amit's essay and lots of other lessons and resources to help you with your ielts preparation the link is in the description so i will see you very soon on the my exam with sam website bye guys